photos online, particularly if you're putting them into a website. They should be as light and easy to load as possible. For a photograph to be placed within a content management system within the text, so a text wrapped photo that appears on your website, they say that it shouldn't be more than 180 pixels in width on average and more than 25 to 100 kilobytes in terms of weight. You can then have thumbnail galleries where you can go to a gallery and click on it and open a high resolution version of the photo if you want to see it downloaded if possible. Remember to always name the photos properly for those search engine optimization reasons and put meta tags on them in your content management system. If you want to manipulate a lot of photos for web and online, it's a good idea to use some photo management software. There are basic free versions that come with a lot of computers or with the, the photo library systems that are provided on computers, but the best one is Photoshop, um, which allows you to really manipulate photos. And it's a very easy to use tool to improve, upgrade, and manipulate photos. You can reduce the file sizes, you can save photos specifically for the web at the right resolution, you can crop and change them, sharpen them, and clean them up. Some examples of, of how useful it is, if you have a great photo like that, um, you may have taken it on your digital camera and uploaded it to your computer. As you know, when photos come in from your computer, they're often three, four megabytes in size, if it's a, if it's a good camera. You can't load that onto your website. You need to get it down to 25 or 100 kilobytes, so that means reducing the file size. Um, Photoshop has a really simple tool to save specifically for the web where it will offer you four options in terms of weight um, and then tell you which is the best one to use. And it will manage it to keep the resolution as high as possible but the file size as low as possible. And let you actually save it for the web. If you just want to crop and remove an element, you can do that by clicking and dragging across the photograph, select the area you want, and then save this area. 